And so the baby Austin moves into full production. It has passed all its tests with distinction. Now the public can find out for themselves. An engineering achievement is ready for production line assembly. And here's the secret of how the wonder car can be produced in such large numbers. The Austin production line organization itself something unique. The components are collected into sets, passed through a degreaser on the assembly lines where they are assembled into complete engines. Here all the latest tools for speedy assembly are in use and time means money. This operation saves a motorist part of the tedium of running in. The engine is driven electrically, automatically fed with a special running-in lubricant while it is still on the bench. Thus, the pistons are scientifically run in before ever the compact engine is fitted into the car. Gearbox and sump in one, real space-saving brilliance. Thousands and thousands of these famous engines are lined up, all with a job to do. At one of the huge BMC plants, the giant presses start stamping out parts of the new car's body. Another fine Austin motor car body is on its complicated way to assembly. First, the sections are clamped in jigs and welded. Dents are smoothed out and imperfections removed. The undercasing of the new car moves overhead here, where there are always parts, components, making their electrically controlled approach to the assembly line. It's built up in sections, like a prefabricated house. Only no house ever had such a large ratio of internal space to external measurements. A really spacious, roomy car body has been clamped inside a jig, ready for final welding. Now on an ever-moving line. Now overhead, in complete sections, the shell of the new motor car builds up. Here's the start of a fascinating process that will gratify any motorist, adding years to the potential life of his car. The welded body goes into the rust-proofing rotor dip. like a chicken on a spit to go first through steam jets to be cleansed, then into hot air blasts to get it completely dry, and so on to complete submersion in the rust-preventing bath.
now it's ready for spraying. The human element embeds the automation of the production line in a big way. The bud is dried, then many hands must rub the surface smooth for paint. Hands and eyes work on each and every body. There's a suction device in operation wherever the spray guns are used, which clears the air continuously. Six separate coats are sprayed on, by man or by machine, before the bodies get their final gloss. In another section, the trim shop is geared for big-scale production. Tailored upholstery adds luxury to comfort. And from the paint shop, the bodies go to the trim line. Austin emblem is bolted in position. The harness of electrical wires is fitted and joined up. The clock is put in and the headlamps are connected up. Then the radiator grill goes into place. The steering column. Now those well upholstered seats are installed. And now the natty little body is ready to meet the subframes and engine assembly. engine gearbox is lowered onto the front subframe in its revolutionary transverse position. So neat, it seems incredible that nobody thought of it before.